Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this top five plays of the week of, of course, our favorite game, Heroes of the Storm. Coming in at number five, we have the red team, Saran and Lili, heading into the mid lane to defend the blue team from getting the dragon. The blue team send Nova and Tracer to try and get the dragon knight. However, Tyrande and Lili manage to push them back, and as Tracer recalls, she hears Tyrande yell, bye-bye, as Tyrande's owl sweeps past Tracer and knocks her down. Coming up at number four, we find ourselves on the Sky Temple map where the red team, who have just taken out two members of the blue team, are fighting for the boss to turn the tide of this game around about the 18th minute mark. However, ETC, well, you know ETC, he had something else planned up, rumps up his guitar and lands a five-man mosh pit, blocking the entire red team from entering the radius of the boss, winning his team the boss, and the game to go along with it. B E A beautiful. Up next, we again find ourselves on the Sky Temple map with another boss fight. The red team are trying to capitalize on a few earlier kills they got, trying to increase the lead they already have on the enemy team. However, as you can see, the blue team begin to respond to this with an Abathur clone in Rexar, poking the red team and the real Rexar hiding in a bush. Now, for this play to make any sense, we do need to look at Li Ming's tier 7 and tier 10 talents, Calamity and Wave of Force, as well as her passive after every kill, your abilities reset. So, as you can see, the red team are poking down this boss slowly getting there but the blue team are back in numbers now we have a full force of enemy blues coming in very very hard on this boss here however Gazlo and Kalthus are also on the side of the red team but watch Li Ming here uses her calamity and wave of force to push the red team out of the flipping way guaranteeing the boss deal from Li Ming all right, coming in at number two this week, we see Jenna heading down south to spot the enemy team, but immediately regrets her decision as she sees three enemy players. Tyriel jumps on using Judgment. Falstaff follows suit extremely quickly, but Ring of Frost is used by Jaina as well as as Artanis' Purifier Beam, getting the kill on Falstaff just as he's about to use Hinterland Blast, and also finishing off Tyriel, and obviously Jaina escaping with her life. All right, and coming in at number one this week, we see Chen, who's witnessing the entire blue team passing by, who are about to get the boss. Chen tells his teammates exactly what he's about to do. He tells them not to come down. He doesn't need their help. As Chen puts himself in position for the boss still, the blue team are blissfully unaware of where Chen is as they continue to battle down this boss. Chen then starts moving forward, passes a few blue enemies, and Bower rolls any blue member out of the boss area, stealing this boss with precision, accuracy, arrogance, and pure awesomeness. About 3 minutes and 30 seconds after that last boss still, Chen senses the blue team might be at it again and begins heading up to the boss camp. And his instincts proved him right as he finds the entire blue team combating the boss down. Chen then gets mind controlled by Sylvanas in her attempt to move him away as she's fully aware of what he's capable of doing. That however cannot stop Chen as he immediately barrel rolls his way onto the boss point Combining his barrel wall with Falstad's mighty gust to deny this poor blue team from getting the boss they so very much need this late on in the game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so that just about wraps it up for our top five plays of the week. If you would like to be featured on perhaps the next episode of this series, then you can submit your replay to thisisgamingtv at gmail.com. That's thisisgamingtv at gmail.com. Also, be sure to check out the other videos we have featured on the channel and subscribe to keep updated. And as always, stay quirky and peace.